Are you using a good safety pattern? Or does your safety pattern for your system look like this crazy house? Here are some signs that you have a problem with the safety architecture of your system. First, if your system has multiple safety integrity levels, so it's a mixed SIL system, but it does not have hardware isolation between the SILs, that's a problem. Next, if you do not have redundancy for your high critical functions, so SIL 3 and above, that's a problem. Finally, if you have fault detection for some redundancy and availability for other redundancy and haven't gotten all those things straight, that can easily lead to very significant problems with your safety critical architecture. The appropriate pattern for safety in your system depends on your particular application. However, there are some standard mechanisms and pieces that you can put together to assemble the right architecture for your system. The first piece is cross-checked redundancy, which can be used for fault detection. The next piece is standby redundancy, which can be used for availability. And the last piece is separation of high and low SIL functions, with each SIL having its own isolated CPU. Some notes for this discussion are that we're going to assume that SIL1 and SIL2 are low criticality. So that means SIL1, for example, might involve minor injuries, and SIL2 would involve major but not fatal injuries. On the other hand, we'll assume that SIL3 and SIL4, or high SIL systems, have life-critical applications. So in SIL3, it is possible that someone will be killed or very severely injured, and at SIL4, it's basically a catastrophic loss. So when we talk about low SIL, we mean SIL1 and 2, nobody dies. When we talk about high SIL, we mean SIL 3 and 4, which are unacceptable consequences and therefore require extra redundancy. You'll recall that one of the issues is that high SIL systems have to be safer than the typical hardware reliability. So you need redundant components to make sure that in the likely case where one component breaks, there'll be another redundant component to provide safety.